a 22-year-old woman's death in police custody in Iran has set off protests around the world. Masa Amini was arrested September 13th by Iran's morality police. Her alleged crime? Not properly covering her hair, something required by Iran's strict laws that govern the way women are supposed to dress and supposed to behave in public. But then after her funeral, women rose up in defiance, some burning their headscarves and cutting their hair in the streets, challenging Iran's authoritarian rule. Iran did respond with violent crackdowns on the protesters. Human rights groups report that more than 70 people have been killed in this uprising. We are so happy to join now in our studio, Iranian-American journalist and activist Masi Alinejad. It is good to have you here and we have seen uprisings protests uh, in the past in Iran this is a woman led uprising have we ever quite seen anything like we're seeing right now since revolution there was a massive protest in Iran that women are uh, being oppressed but after that this is the first time that I'm seeing uh, across Iran people taking to the streets and they're showing their anger uh, because Mahsa was innocent. She was not even unveiled. You know, when you showed her picture, I, I couldn't control myself because I, I wish you could see that now everywhere around the world that people naming you Mahsa, people talking to you, people admiring you. Mahsa's brutal death becoming a turning point for Iranian women. As you said, yes, they're cutting their hair. Why? because this is a way of showing to the rest of the world which Iranian ordinary women started that and I want to show you why they're doing this. They're cutting their hair like this in public to tell the world that Mahsa got killed for a bit of hair, for a little bit of hair, hair was shown, was visible. Now Iranian women are angry and telling the rest of the world that we're not again, even fighting against compulsory hijab, we want an end for gender apartheid regime. Forgive my anger. This is the anger of Iranian women who have been ignored for years and years. We've been warning the rest of the world that we don't want to wear hijab. But we've been seeing even Western female politicians going to my country, obeying compulsory hijab laws. And I believe that empowered my government to kill Mahsa. And you said 70 people. No. They cut off the internet. The, the number of the people who got killed, it's more than this. I believe in that because in two years ago, in bloody November, they killed 1,500 people, but they cut off the internet. How ironic. The tech companies allowing the dictators to be on social media, but my people are banned from using social media. Uh, and. and it, your your passion, your anger uh, is understandable. It's palpable. And I know just for people who don't know your backstory, you ended up uh, staying here in America and you have not been able to return to your country, Iran, that I know you love. You had to leave at that time your 12 year old son behind for fear of safety because you were interviewing or you were trying to interview uh, then President Barack Obama. Uh, and so you you've lived this. This has been your life. This is this is this is near and dear in a way that only you can understand. So we're so happy you're here with us to Thank share you. with us what this means for Iranian women. And you've been hearing from Iranian women who have been protesting. What have they told you? Look, when you mention about Obama, I want to actually use the opportunity that right now, Iranian people in the street telling me that, ask the rest of the world to take action. Because I remember that time Iranian protesters were naming Obama because Obama means who means he. Ba means with, uh, Ma means us, so he is with us. But that time Obama was not with us when people were chanting his name in the streets and saying that, hear us. But Obama was sending a letter to the supreme leader of Iran to get a deal. Now it's happening again. Iranian people are telling me that, ask President Biden, that instead of legitimizing our murderers or getting a nuclear deal, because you don't hear ch small chant single chant inside, inside Iran saying that we want a nuclear deal. You don't he hear them burning American flag. No, they just, they just said, President Biden, ask your allies, the European allies, cut your ties with these murderers and recognize our voice. You know, recall all the European ambassadors, kick out all the diplomats from here. There's in Iran's intersection in Washington, D.C. Shut down this intersection because this is not the interest of Iranian people. And you know what? I went to Iran's intersection in Washington, D.C. They kicked me out because I was unveiled. Here, I want to call on Ilhan Omar, AOC, come with me. 
like Iranian people practicing their civil disobedience, let us, three of us, go to Iran's intersection, take off a headscarf, wearing our headscarf, but protesting against the Islamic Republic. Take action. I took women's march in the street in America. I was the one chanting my body, my choice. And I remember I called my friends in Iran, telling them, oh my God, I'm in America. I'm in the streets. I'm saying my body, my choice. No one, no one kills me here. No one arrests me. I want to see now American streets full of my sisters. Take to the streets. Just like when George Floyd got killed, brutally, rightfully, the whole world take to the streets. What is different between Mahsa, Hanane? Uh, there are a lot of people getting killed. What is the difference between Hadith? What is the difference between Ali Reza, Irfan? These people are getting killed in the streets. Show your solidarity by taking to the streets and calling Biden administration and stop negotiating with our murderers. Instead, legitimizing the people inside Iran, the women inside Iran who are leading this movement to have a secular democratic country, to have a normal life. I know I have a lot in my heart and I can talk about Iranian brave women for years and years. And thank you so much for giving a platform to me. No, yeah. I thank you, and I think a lot of our viewers do as well. Yeah. That they can read about this, they can see some of the images on TV, they can hear politicians debate back and forth on news about this, but no one can get through to them the way you just yeah. did by speaking from your heart. Thank you for your honesty. Thank Don't you. ever apologize. Thank talk. you for your voice. I need a hug. Here. <laughs> And one day, I'm going to invite you to my beautiful country. Well, yeah. Iran's culture is not Masi, forcing people to wear it. <laughs> Masi, Ali, John, everybody. We hope to have you back on the show Thank again. You so everybody, much. we're right back here. I'm going to take my hair as well. Until, <laughs> yes. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.